Hey, it's Nick, already go here, and I'm going to show you how to use a BOSU to kick it up a notch with the yoga tree pose. So you want to be able to do the yoga tree pose on solid ground at the full expression before you attempt it on the BOSU. That will look something like this. Now if you're able to hold that pretty steady, not waver too much, then you're ready to try it on the BOSU. Do not try this on the BOSU before you can do it very steadily on solid ground. You're asking for injury if you do. Sometimes people will stand on this side, the flat side of the ball, for various exercises. The manufacturer and the company that markets this thing uh, advise that you don't. There's a big warning label on it saying not to do that. So if you do do that, you are taking your life into your own hands. I'm going to find the middle of the ball, white dot, place my foot on the center there, and first just find balance. So there are three main levels that I can take the tree pose to. I can have my heel on the inside of my shin. It's level one. The toes are on the ground, or the BOSU in this case, and I'm finding balance there. And once I find balance, I bring the hands to the heart center and extend them up. Now, from there, I can also advance this to where I take the foot to the inside of the shin. When I'm doing that, I'm pushing my knee out. So, heels on the inside of the shin, pushing my knee out, hips remain squared up forward direction, bring it here. I can also take the foot to the inside of my thigh. I want to avoid putting the foot directly on the knee because I'm going to be pushing that foot into the leg and I don't want to be pushing my knee that way. So wherever I happen to place my foot, I'm pushing the foot into the opposite leg. And for me today, it's about right here. Find the balance. Find one focal point for your eyes. And breathe. When you're doing it on the BOSU, there's going to be a lot more instability and wobbling going on at the ankle. And that's how it's helping you to improve ankle stability. It will help prevent ankle injuries. Also, give you cool tricks to do if you're at a party and someone dares you to do something that they can't do. If you got any benefit from this video, leave a comment below. If you would like to get instant access to content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, then join the Run Better Now VIP Club. Click the link that is connected with this video. You'll have a chance to sign up for that. Thank you.